What's going on everyone? My name is Legit Bread and these are some really awesome Nerf magazines. First of all, huge shout out to Light Take for making this video possible. They're an online shopping website with their own brand of Nerf gear and they were kind enough to send me over 500 darts and 8 different Nerf magazines to test out. In this video we'll be focusing on the Light Take Blue 12 dart magazine, Clear 18 dart magazine, and my personal favorite, the Matte Black 15 dart banana magazine. How do they perform compared to the reliable, good quality Nerf branded magazines? Are these Light Take products worth buying? Let's find out. So out of the packaging, I notice a couple of the mags had an excess of lubricant inside of them. Presumably it's to make the mechanism slide more smoothly but it was oily and annoying but I just took a paper towel and wiped it up a few times to get rid of all of it. Problem solved. Let's talk about quality and firstly go over the 12 dart mag. It looks pretty much the same as the Nerf branded 12 dart mag without the logos. Some of the newer Nerf 12 dart mags have the bumpers on the bottom but the light take ones don't have them. You can see by the amount of coils in the spring that it is heavier than the springs in the Nerf branded mags meaning it does take a a little more pressure to push down the darts to load it. Performance wise this doesn't affect the mag in a negative way. I really love the blue color of this magazine. In my opinion it has the perfect amount of color as well as being translucent enough to still see how much ammo you have left. There are other color options like green, purple, orange and black but no matter which one you choose it will be translucent on both sides of the mag. This isn't something common we've seen in nerf branded mags so this is pretty cool. By the way the blue mags look great with the elite blue color schemes especially loaded up with blue elite darts. The clear 18 dart mags look very similar to the nerf ones but like the 12s they lack the bumpers on the bottom. Like the 12s the 18s have heavier springs, takes a little more effort to load the darts, not a big deal but this is where things aren't as great. With 18 darts loaded there's sometimes a tendency for the top dart to rise above the actual mag. I'll talk about the consequences of this when we go over performance. I love the clear mags because it allows me to easily see how much ammo I got left. Mind you it does reveal that to your opponents as well in a nerf 4 but I still love them. You can also show off your plethora of different colored darts with this clear mag. The problem with the Nerf branded clear mags is that they're super hard to get. You can't buy them separately. So with these light take clear 18 dart mags, that kind of fills in that gap and that's what I really like about these mags. Alrighty, let's talk about this awesome matte black 15 dart banana mag. I'll make this quick. I've had zero issues with this mag. Zero. The matte black color is so sleek, so high end looking that it puts the regular orange Nerf magazines to shame. It's not as practical as straight mags but the curve of this banana mag design really adds that extra touch of wow to the mag. It looks great when you get that stark contrast between the black of the mag and the white of the blaster it's loaded in. No complaints here, let's move on. As a side note, I was going to review this 12 round rival magazine they sent me, but unfortunately I got a lemon and it doesn't work properly. Without hesitation, Light Take offered to send me a new one, so we'll save the review of this mag for another video. Okay, so how well do these mags perform? For all the mags they load and unload into the mag wells of blasters pretty smoothly. Remember what I said about the top dart sometimes protruding from the top of the clear 18 dart mags? Yeah, for whatever reason, the combination of this mag, Aki Strike darts and either the Tri Strike or the Regulator ended up with more jams than a strawberry festival. Super annoying, but I've noticed that loading different types of darts or loading only 16 or 17 darts really makes a difference in preventing this. That's what I found from my testing. Other than that, the 12 and the 15 dart mags work great without any issues. Overall, I'm really happy with all of these magazines. Without a doubt, I would recommend the matte black 15 dart banana mag for its flawless design and performance. The same goes for the 12 dart mags for its variety of translucent colors. The practicality of the clear design of the 18 dart mags is excellent, but just be wary that you might come across issues with darts protruding from the top. If it weren't for that, I would rank it up there with the matte black mags. There are tons of color and capacity options for these mags on their website website to suit your style. And to top it all off, a lot of Light Takes items sell for pretty cheap on their website. The link is on the screen or in the description. They have a super easy to use and clear interface that shows you the shipping cost in seconds. Depending on your shipping location, you can get some of these items a lot cheaper compared to the Nerf brand version of these magazines. I'd like to take the time to say thank you to everyone watching and Light Take for this awesome opportunity. If you want to check out my review of this really weird Light Take Nerf dart, click on the screen. Check out my full Nerf playlist in the card up here. Subscribe for more Nerf videos and check out my links in the description if you want to buy your own Nerf gear. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.